Welcome to this new video. The IP adapter model for Flux was just released and today I want to show you how you can use it in ComfyUI already. Unfortunately, it is not yet possible as far as I know to use it with the NF4 model. Also, the GGUF model was not working for me with the IP adapter. Another thing is that it consumed almost all of my GPU RAM. I have a GTX 4090 and it was almost always on 24 gigabyte VRAM usage. This workflow uses the custom nodes from Xlabs as well as the IP adapter version from Xlabs. I tried to use the Xlab sampler with the IP adapter, but it used too much VRAM. So I ended up using the normal case sampler from ComfyUI with IP adapter. This worked quite well. I have a monitoring software on the right side where you can see how much memory of the GPU is used. I tried to combine this Flux IP adapter workflow with LoRa's, but this was also too much for my GPU VRAM. So I ended up with this normal Flux Dev, Flux Schnell and Flux FP8 model based workflow, but using the Flux IP adapter. The setup of the IP adapter is quite straightforward. You need to install the XFlux ComfyUI add-on. Be sure to update your version if you don't have the latest version. This is really important for the new nodes to appear. And you need to install the Flux IP adapter safe tensors, the model safe tensors, for the clip vision and yeah sure if you haven't installed the xflux comfy ui add-on you need the clip loader models and so on so i put all the links to the models and how you download and install them in the description below you can find also more infos on the xlabs github page let's build up the workflow quickly from scratch it's not so much clear everything and start with a case sampler we connect the apply flux ip adapter node to the case sampler model port Let's set it to point eight. Let's load the clip text encode for flux. Let's duplicate it. We connect it to the positive and the negative prompt. I like to use that you of Liberty as a prompt, copy that. We keep the negative prompt empty. We need our dual clip loader. Connect this and we choose the FP16 as a first clip and the clip L as a second clip, we need to specify that we use flux. Let's load the diffusion model, the flux model. I choose the dev version one model, keep the weight type default. We need the IP adapter model. Load flux IP adapter. So we have to choose the flux IP adapter safe tensors and as a clip vision, the downloaded model safe tensors. Okay, we need a latent image. I choose. 2024, 2024. And now we need an image for the IP adapter. I 
choose this Animaker. It's a good idea to scale the image. As with a simple upscale, so it fits your plated image. You maybe have to crop it or change it otherwise, or you can prepare it in Photoshop before, so it matches the resolution you like to generate. Connect this to the image port. And then we need to decode everything. We need the VAE model and then save the image. So, and that should be it. Let's check the sampler settings. So I like to push the steps quite high, CFG quite low. I like to choose the Karas scheduler to get consistent results. Let me check the other things, the IP adapter strengths to 80, the models seem right. Let's give it a try and have a look at this memory usage graph. It will go up to 24 gigabyte. So generation of the IP adapter stuff is not so heavy, but then combining everything inside the case sampler is uh, quite heavy still. I hope they will do a TGUF version of this IP adapter model so that it can be combined and used on uh, slower and smaller GPUs. But I think this will happen. Otherwise, it's not usable for many people. So you see down in the right corner here, memory usage is almost killing the VRAM. As said, with the XLab sampler, I had VRAM overruns and also when trying to use LoRa's. Actually, it should be possible to combine LoRa's with this. So here's the result that doesn't look like the Statue of Liberty. Let's reduce the strengths to 0 0.6. So here we go. There we have the Statue of Liberty in the style of our anime image. Sure, there is lots to optimize, but you should get an idea on how to use IP adapter with Flux now. I think in the next video, I will show you how you use the GGUF versions of the Flux model, which should work with 12 gigabyte of VRAM. This is interesting for people with smaller GPUs. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.